Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Cold and clear right now over Butte County. This is from our Bloomer Mountain camera looking down at that arm of Lake Oroville still. Beautiful shot. It's a gorgeous uh, sight out there. We're not seeing any rain clouds in the sky right now. You know, Jason, you almost kind of feel bad having such nice weather just because we need that rain so badly. Yeah, it, it just just accept what we have. You know, if we don't have the rain snow that we need, just enjoy the sunshine, the lack of wind that we had today. We will then definitely have some more chances for rain and snow. It's only a handful of days away. So yes, beautiful weather today. Hopefully you got outside to enjoy it. And we're going to have similar weather most of tomorrow. However, it won't be quite as mild tomorrow as it was today. But still a lot of sunshine for us ahead on Thursday. Right now, a partly cloudy sky over Chico. Still 64 degrees, about 8 degrees warmer than our average high should be this time of year. Currently Reading 63, also a mostly clear sky. And the wind finally not blowing. We had a very chilly morning because of that lack of wind. Red Bluff, 61 degrees right now, a mostly clear sky. And Oroville, still very mild this hour, 60 degrees. The wind, only 3 miles an hour. But we are starting to cool down around Chester. It's already down to 38 degrees. It's 45 in Alturas, 44 degrees in Mount Shasta, and a mild 58 degrees for now in Weaverville. But it will be chilly tomorrow morning. Only a couple cirrus clouds over in Northern California right now. No rain, no snow clouds, but that is going to be changing as we get into late Thursday and early Friday. The first of three different storms moving our way. So by Friday morning, we'll have a chance for a little bit of mountain snow, spotty rain showers, not much happening. Most of it's going to be from Trinity County westward toward the coast, but that's still the first in a series of chances for rain and snow. It's going to get much more interesting and much more likely as we get into Sunday, Monday, and the middle of next week. So after a brief break late Saturday, here comes the next chance for more widespread rain and snow. This is going to be a colder storm, so a better chance for areas around Paradise as well as Sterling City and Megalia to have some accumulating snow. We'll have a brief break after we get through Monday as well as on Tuesday. And then, yes, again, another chance for an even colder storm. Now, look at this one. Especially for Shasta County, we cannot rule out the potential for some rain and snow mixes around Redding. So please keep that in mind by the middle of next week. Everyone will have that chance for rain in the valley as well as plenty of snow with that third storm by the middle of next week in the mountains. So for the first storm, not much rain. Most places less than two tenths of an inch will have a better chance for accumulating snow for the mountains and rain for the valley for Sunday and Monday. Additional amounts of rain and snow possible on Wednesday of next week and still a very active weather pattern through most of the end of this coming month into early February too. So here's your forecast for Thursday. A mostly clear start to your day for the northern mountains, but increasing clouds late with a chance for some rain showers after the sun goes down. Highs in the 40s and lower 50s tomorrow. For northeastern California, another cold night. This morning it was 11 in Alturas. We'll have a low of 13 tomorrow morning. Highs still warmer than average for this time of year. In the upper 40s and lower 50s, a little bit cool for the ridge tonight, but warmer than the valley below because of the inversion. Lows will be in the 40s. Highs tomorrow mainly in the mid to upper 50s. Another cold night for the valley, though. Reading one degree warmer than it was this morning at 33. Mostly mid to upper 30s for lows. Highs tomorrow warmer than average, not as warm as today. Lower 60s for your Thursday with a gradual increase in those clouds late in the afternoon and the Chico area lows tonight also dropping down to the 30s by early tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon a mostly sunny to partly cloudy sky still a bright Thursday for us with highs in the upper 50s and lower 60s but a very active weather pattern is ahead for us and we welcome it Sunday the best chance for more rain and mountain snow and look at that cool down dropping 10 degrees from Saturday to Sunday and more chances for wet weather especially next Wednesday highs will stay in the upper 40s for Reading also a big drop in those temperatures Lower 60s for one more day tomorrow, mid to upper 50s Friday and Saturday, upper 40s and lower 50s Sunday through Wednesday with a good chance for rain on Sunday with mountain snow and a chance for some more overnight rain and snow shower mixes late Tuesday into early Wednesday. Thanks, Jason. A new lawsuit called.